Hello everyone. Today we're going to do this gingham pattern and I did a small version because it's a dishcloth and then I did it with the larger stitch. I haven't worked in my ends yet but I liked the smaller version better on the dishcloth. Um, this would be better for like a blanket, in my opinion. So I also did another one, but I didn't have a white in the same type of yarn. So I did it in three shades of purple out of regular yarn and not cotton. And I still think it looks pretty cool. And this is using the, the bigger size, but that just gives you an idea of if you were working with a, a bigger piece, how much better this, this using the larger box looks than on a, a bigger piece like this than it would on a smaller piece like this one. I don't know what just fell, but we'll find it later. Anywho... Um, what you will need, of course, depending on what you're making, if you do a dishcloth, you want to use cotton yarn. And you need three shades. You need a dark, a medium, and a light, or light should ideally be white. Of course, your crochet hook. I'm using um, Hobby Rainbow 100% cotton yarn. And it calls for a three to three and a half millimeter crochet hook, but I'm going to use a four and a half just because that's how I am. <laughs> I like to use a slightly larger hook. So to get started, if you're going to do the small, like for a dishcloth, you're going to chain in multiples of four. And if you want both sides to end in the same color, which I think looks better like this, then you need an odd number of multiples of four, like five sets of four or seven sets of four. If you're gonna do the large version, it's done in sixes. So same thing. Do an, if you want it to end like in different or the same instead of different like this one is where I have dark purple and light purple and then light purple and white, you want to do it in odd. So for this demonstration, I'm going to do five sets of four plus three for my turning chain. And you start with your darkest color. You're going to, of course, do a slip knot and then chain in multiples of four. So I'm going to do 20. Five times four is 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, and then plus three for my turning chain. And then we are going to do three double crochets starting in the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, and three, but we're not gonna complete that. That gives us four because our turning chain counted as a stitch. We're not gonna complete that stitch. We're gonna bring in our medium shade. <laughs> okay, to complete that stitch, because we're gonna change colors here. 
So we're going to do four double crochets of this one. But not with that piece. <laughs> Okay, so one, snug it up a little bit, and I'm crocheting over top of this end piece and my dark color so that I can carry my yarn across. Two, Three, and four. We don't complete that fourth stitch. We're going to pull our working yarn forward. We're going to pick up our darker color to complete that fourth double crochet. And do four of these working over top of the tail st still and our lighter color working yarn. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the first row is always the toughest for me. I don't know why. It's just like flimsy. It's hard to hang on to. Anywho, all right, so there's four. We don't complete the fourth one. Bring that forward. Bring up our lighter color or medium color. Tighten that down a little bit. And we do four of these. So you're just rotating all the way across to the end of the row, doing four double crochets. And on the fourth one, before finalizing the stitch, you switch colors. Two. Three. Oops. Four. We don't complete the fourth one. Now if you were doing the larger square, or box, however you want to call it, you would do six double crochets because you would have chained in multiples of six. All right, so four more of these. Okay, so I have an extra chain, so I must have counted wrong. One extra stitch there. But I think I counted wrong on my chain. All right, so we're just going to leave that hang because we can cut this and tighten that up and it won't be a big deal. All right, so I should have five. Well, 16. I definitely didn't count wrong or count right. All right. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Now that's right. I missed one. I'm like, hmm. Anyhow, so we want to turn our work. And we're still staying with the dark purple because we're going to do two rows. So I'm going to like move my light purple up a little bit so that it's not such a big carry when we get to it again. Okay, so now I'm only going to chain two instead of three. And I'm working over top of that purple 
and we should get three double crochets. That first chain two counted as one. And we do not finalize that last one. We're going to pull our dark forward, bring up our light color to complete that stitch, give it a little pull to tighten it down a little bit. Not super tight, just snug it up a little. And then four doubles working with our medium shade here, working over top of our darker color so that we can carry it over. We do not complete the fourth stitch. We go halfway, bring our working yarn forward, pull up our dark purple and complete the stitch. Give it a little pull to tighten it down. It's just snugging it up. And then four of the dark purple. Oops, we don't finalize that. Pull that forward, bring up our light color, snug it down a little. Four of these. Don't finish it, pull it forward, bring up your darker color, complete that stitch, give it a little snug, little snuggy pull, and we're going to do four of the dark purple or whatever dark color you decided to use. All right, so when we get our turning chain, we're gonna put it in that top stitch of the turning chain because that did count as a double. Okay, so once we have completed row two, now our light purple is gonna come up above the dark purple and our white is gonna come up above the light purple. So, you can cut this or not. I'm going to cut it off, leaving a long enough tail for me to work in, just so that I don't have so many strings hanging around. So we're going to bring up our light purple to complete that last stitch. Snug it up. Chain two. Whoops. Turn. We're going to do three doubles. We're not going to complete the third one. We're going to bring in our white. Okay, we're going to do four doubles on the white. We're going to work over top of our tail and our medium shade or light purple. We do not complete the stitch. We bring up the light purple and we do four double crochets of the light purple, working over top of our white working yarn and the tail. We're 
we do not complete the fourth stitch. We pull that forward. We bring up our white to complete that stitch for our color change. And we go four double crochets of the white. Don't complete the last one. Pull up our light purple, give it a little snuggie. <coughs> Excuse me. We have four double crochets of this color. And the last one is going to go in our chain two that we did to come up to this one. We just put it in that top stitch. Okay, we're going to inch our white up with us. Okay, chain two, turn our work. We're gonna work over top of that white because we're still doing those rows because each one gets two rows before we have to change colors again. You know, back to our dark color. So that's two. Don't complete the fourth one. Switch over to the white. Do four whites. And you have a tendency to get tangled every now and then, so you know, because you're switching over colors a lot. So, oops, going the wrong way. Unwrap my yarn here. Make it a little easier to pull on. All right, so that fourth stitch, we do not complete the top. Bring up our purple, our light purple. Do four of these. Don't complete that fourth stitch, pull it forward, bring up your white, snug it down just a little, do four whites. And then our four light purples. The fourth one goes in our chain two. Okay, and we don't complete that one because we need to switch back to the darker purple. But for the moment, we're finished with the white, so we're going to cut the tail. And just let it hang for a little bit. And we're going to bring back our dark purple. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could run these up. But that's kind of a, in my opinion, kind of a big jump. And then you're dealing with three yarns potentially getting tangled. So I just cut it and work my tails in. Okay, so we want our dark purple to finish off that stitch. Give it a little snuggie. Okay, 
I'm going to carry that light purple up because we got to run it across with us and then do chain two. Turn our work, work over top of the light purple. That's one, two, and then the fourth stitch is the light purple. We're switching over to that. We do four. They're back. They went to the grocery store. That was a quick trip. Okay. Switch. And I think you get the idea now. Two rows, four stitches each color. Then switch. They alternate. The only one you're ever going to have to cut is your medium shade. If you're doing the larger one, six stitches, three rows before you rotate around. And that'll do it. That gives you your nice little gingham pattern. And that's all I have for you today. I thank you so much for watching.